What's up, family? Ah, welcome back to Solomon's Vineyard Fragrance Reviews. Content, 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 y'all. That's what I got for you today. Today, we're looking at a 2021 release. Not this, y'all. Blue Electric, y'all know I love it. Not this one, though. We're going and we're going to look at the house of Vince Camuto, y'all. I didn't even know they had a new one out. Anyway, we're going back to my old template. We're going to lay the iPhone down, get back on the Android. Uh, I miss my old song, All Right, All Right, OK. Let's get to it, y'all. Meet me on the other side for the review. OK, OK, OK. All right, all right, all right. Fragrance family, it's your brother. The OG Russell Mack, and I'm back this evening with some fresh fragrance content for you. From the Chef Mo Pack, y'all, I'm here with a 2021 release. Now, I haven't heard much about this one. It's been out a year, um, but we're going to take a look at it and take a sniff and see what I think. This is from the house of Vince Camuto. I don't have currently any Vince Camutos um, in my arsenal. Will this... Uh, fragrance become a full bottle. We'll find out shortly. But if you are new and this is your first time catching your boy, what's happening? It's great to have you. Come on over here to the vineyard and become a part of this fragrance family. Let's travel this journey together. Let's have a good time together. You dig? Um, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Share some of this content. And don't forget to comment down in the thread below. I'll let you why. I love to hear from you, all right? Listen, I hope all of you and those of you that watch, hope you're having a great week thus far. I know it's early in the week, but uh, my heart and love and prayers go out to you that you'll have a great week, all right? And that you'll smell good all week, all right? Uh, right now, y'all, I'm rocking... Uh, Oh my God, I'm rocking a fragrance that I actually wore um, yesterday, um, and that was Polo Deep Blue. Now, I had on the green uh, a little while ago, but I freshened up and hopped back into the deep blue. I can't help, I can't help it, I'm addicted, all right, y'all? Um, so, you, you get on it, though, you'll probably be, uh, be addicted as well. I love that cypress. Anyway, let's get into this fragrance here, y'all, from the Chef Mo. Shout out to my brother, Chef Mo. Man, listen, I love you, my brother. Thank you so much for this content. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Let's get on into it, y'all. Bow, bow, bow. Uh, three good sprays should do it. This is a very simple fragrance. Uh, it only has a few notes. Oh, yeah. You get that alcohol burn. Let's let that die down or dry down for a few minutes. Let me give you some notes. You got citron with ozonic notes in uh, the opening uh, of the top. Citron, you know, it's a dry, bright citrus note. It's a synthetic note, of course, with ozonic notes. Uh, that's another chemical, another aquatic chemical that gives you uh, that blue aquatic water and that smell along with some ginger in the heart. Artemisia. Artemisia is a, uh, com a synthetic note that gives you the smell or scent profile of cedar wood or a sage, clary sage like scent, or it can come across kind of berry, light, woody, if you will, depending on the way it's used, okay? And then in the heart base, I'm sorry, the base, you got more woody notes, all right? That's what gives this fragrance its scent. All right, here we go. Now we're getting uh, no alcohol. You're getting that citron, all right, with the ozonic notes and the ginger, all right? Now, at first sniff, it's a beautiful, beautiful opening, you know, uh, aquatic, oceanic. It's got a hint of that citron with that spicy ginger. Now, the dry down is over here. This has been on my wrist for about an hour and a half. Let's see where it's at. Okay, just like I thought. It's very mass appealing, yet easy. Uh, doesn't appear that Vince Camuto really put much thought into this fragrance, I'll be honest. And with uh, all of the blue fragrances that have been released, they should have really, really, really took some time and put some more effort into creating this. What you're mainly getting right now is just a little ginger with 
woody uh, nuances and not strong woody nuances at that. You are getting a little spice that could be coming from the artemisia, a hint of blue, which is the aquatic feel, and basically that's it. It's mainly linear, except you don't get the citrus. It goes away, uh, it flees after about 10 minutes, if you will. I believe that this will end up being a faint skin scent after about two to three hours. So don't expect much performance from this one. Um, but it is nice to rock if you're just running errands, if you're going to just sit outside, maybe catch a little air. Uh, it's very hot, so you really don't want nothing too heavy. So this probably would work if you're running to Walmart and back home. But I wouldn't re um, recommend this for uh, a date. I wouldn't even recommend it going out to dinner in unless you're just going to get some McDonald's or Burger King or my favorite Chick-fil-A, all right? Vince Camuto, um, if I had to say it smelled like something, uh, I would say it would be leaning in the uh, direction of maybe a Dolce & Gabbana light blue, maybe um, this one right here. That's fine. Uh-oh. Maybe one of the Tommy's. Maybe Tommy Hill figure summer. You know, it gives you that blue oceanic aquatic feel. Maybe the um, nautica blue, if you will. Blue cell. And um, this other hill figure. Something really simple, really easy to wear. All right. Get Chef Mo up. Ask him for this one. Tell him you want to sample it. Tell him Russell Mack sent you. Um, very, very easy fragrance. I, I don't want to say dumb reach. I'll say easy reach. Try it out. See what you think. Get back at your boy, all right? This has been my first impression and review of Vince Camuto on Intenso. All right, y'all? Listen, hope you're having a great night. I'll see you all tomorrow for some fresh content, y'all. Might even go live tomorrow, all right? I love y'all, man. Take care. OG Russell Mack is out of the building. Peace, y'all. All right, all right, all right.